Okay, good morning boys and girls. First thing I want you to do when I'm talking is to just start jogging on the spot for me, okay? Jogging on the spot when I'm talking. Um, can I just say well done to everyone so far. Keep jogging boys and girls for joining in with our online P lessons. This is online P lesson number seven. So keep up the good work. Keep jogging when I'm talking and start to get our heart pumping. Let's get warm. Can I say a fantastic job to Nadia setting up the ladders in her class? I missed that video last week, but really, really good job. Well done to Alu, Babuka, Mohammed. Really good job so far. Keep up the good work. I love watching your video. Joining into my fast feet yesterday. So really good job, okay? So just a little jog on the spot to start with. We've got five more seconds and we're gonna go into some high knees, okay? Let's go into some high knees. Just 30 seconds of high knees. Get those arms pumping. Have a look at it from the side, keep moving. Now, in today's P online P lesson, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna teach you two games you can play against the partner that's gonna work on our throwing, okay? So we're gonna look at our throwing. So hopefully, you'll be able to stay tuned, okay? Relax there, give your arms and legs a shake, please, okay? Now, we're gonna be jogging on the spot, you're going to go and try and hold on to one leg. So jog in, jog in, and try and hold that position on that one leg. Okay, ready? Hold it. Jog in and hold. Hold your balance. Well done for holding your balance on that one. Ready and hold. Keep holding and keep jogging. Keep jogging and hold. One, two, three, and jogging. Try and copy exactly how I do it. I might try and trick you with what, what direction we're going in now. Ready, let's go. And keep going. Hold it. Ooh, use your arms to help you balance. And jogging on the spot again. Keep those knees going. Hold. Oh, can anyone go from side to side whilst holding? Hold it still. Hold it still. To the other side. Hold it still. Hold it still. And keep jogging. Keep jogging. Right now, boys and girls, all we're gonna do, we're gonna warm our legs up. We're gonna kick through, nice and high. Watch when you finish the side, you're gonna stand up nice and tall. You're gonna kick your leg up nice and high. Kick, kick. And as an add, some of you might be more flexible than me at home. As an add, you're gonna start clapping your hands underneath, okay? Copying exactly what I do, clapping your hands underneath. Couple of little small steps in between. Ten more seconds. And relax there, give your legs a shake for me. Right, and this time, I want you to imagine there's a big door in front of you and you want to kick it down. So this time, instead of just kicking straight through like this, you're going to kick out. You're going to kick out in front of you. Be careful you don't kick anything in front of you. Have a practice of that one. So knee goes up, and we're going to kick. Kick forwards. Kick forwards. Kick that door down. 10 more seconds. Kick that door down. Keep working hard. Ooh, and relax there for me. Give your arms and legs a shake. Okay, this time we're going to move on to some punch jumps. So punch jumps look like this. So punch in the sky. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Okay, ready? Let's go. One, two. Keep your feet jumping at the same time. Get a ribbon going. Stand up nice and tall. Okay. 
Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, and relax there for me. Give your legs and arms a shake. Okay, now we're gonna move on to some lunges, okay? So for our lunge, all we're gonna do is we're gonna step forwards, and we're gonna go down, so our knee nearly touches the floor, it doesn't quite touch the floor. We're gonna stand up straight, keep our back nice and straight. We're just gonna step forward, and then we're gonna step back. Step forward, step back. This one's really working on our leg muscles. Don't worry if that knee does touch the floor a couple of times. Just get it so it's just about to touch the floor, and back. This one's also working on a little bit of balance as well. I'll show you from front on. Three more of those on each side. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Okay. Should be feeling that in our legs. Right, now, last exercise we're going to do to get warm is going to be a burpee. Now, for our burpee, there's two that I'm going to show you. You can go for the harder one, or if you're finding that one a little bit trickier, as we get more tired, you can go for an easier one. So, for our burpee, this is what we're going to do. We're going to lie flat on the floor. We're going to jump up, and then we're going to reach the sky. I'll show you from front on. Flat on the floor, and jump up. Or, we can go into our front support position, and then straight back up. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Copy exactly what I'm doing. Seven. Keep going up. Nice high jump. Eight. Nine. Great job, everyone. Get, grab yourself a drink. Hopefully, that's got everyone's blood pumping around their body. Got your heart beating nice and fast. Good job. Let's move on to the two games. Okay, the first game that we're going to play, you're going to need, or actually both games that we're going to play, you're going to need some socks. Now, you can play this game on your own and you can challenge yourself, but it does work better with a partner. So get your brothers, sisters, mums, dads, whoever's looking after you at home involved with this one, okay? You're going to need six pairs of socks. You're going to need three for yourself and three for whoever you're playing against. If you're playing on your own, you just need three pairs of socks. So I'm going to give you 10 seconds to go and get yourself three pairs of socks. Ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Okay, hopefully you're back with me. If you're not, I'm going to give you a couple of extra bonus seconds. Okay, now we're going to look at how we're going to do an underarm throw, okay? Whenever we're doing an underarm throw, I want you to imagine you turn into someone and that somebody is Buzz Lightyear, okay? With a laser on his arm. Everyone point their laser at me and go beep, 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 beep. Perfect. Now, the laser, whatever direction your laser's gonna face in, hopefully that's the direction your socks are gonna go in. That's the direction whatever you're throwing is gonna go in. So, first of all, we're gonna set myself up like this, feet together, then I'm gonna go one foot in front of the other. I'm gonna take a step forwards. Then I'm gonna point my laser. I'm gonna go beep, 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 beep. If my laser points up to the sky, the socks or the ball that you're throwing, they are going to go up to this. Uh, it's going to go up to the sky. If, if you aim it down low, where do you think the socks are going to go? Good. It's going to go down to the floor. And if you aim your laser straight towards wherever you want the ball to go, then that's where it's going to go. So if you aim it towards your target, that's what we want to happen. So I'm going to show you against the wall. I'm just going to have one pair of socks in my hand to start with. So I'm going to start. 
Laser's gonna be facing the wall. I'm gonna have my lasers together. I'm gonna to rock back and I'm gonna join my lasers to meet each other in a sec. So I'm gonna go beep, 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 beep. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time. I'm gonna do it in slow motion for you. Slow motion next to the camera. So I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna go this way, laser. I'm gonna rock back and then I'm gonna go beep, 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 beep. Like so. Have a practice of that one during this game, okay? Remember, it's really important that we have an aimer for whatever direction we want it to go in. So, as you can see, I've got a basket set up at that end of the room. Now, I also want you to have something that you're standing behind. You can't see the floor, but I'm standing behind a little marker on the floor. And what we're going to do is we're going to play against our partner. Now, I've got three pairs of socks. I'm on the green team, okay? And my partner would have three black pairs of socks. So what you're going to do is you're going to have three goes in a row and you're going to see how many of them you can get in the basket. So let's have a go. Remember to use your laser, go on one at a time. One, two, three. Perfect, three out of three. So once you've had three goes, you're on three points if you get them all in, okay? Now, it is the black team's go, so let's have a go. One. Two. Ooh, pressure shot. Three. So that's three all at the uh, end of the first round, okay? What you're gonna do then, is you're both gonna go and collect, and you're both on three, you're gonna do this five times and you're gonna see who can get the highest score. Okay, don't worry if you miss one. Okay, you've got two other chances and you've got lots of other chances to try and get it in, okay? So have a go at this game. It doesn't need to be a basket, I've used a washing basket. You could use a box, you could use a shoe box, you could use anything like that. Anything in the box shape that's gonna hold whatever you're throwing into it. Go and have a go, get other people in your house involved, have a I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Okay, next game. It's like a game of bowls, this one, okay? So what you're going to be doing, we're going to be using the exact same equipment as before, but this time we're going to have a target that we're going to be aiming for on the floor. Instead of you having three goes this time and your partner having three goes, you're going to stand behind the same line, you're going to go, then your partner's going to go, and after you've had all three socks thrown, you're going to see who has got it closest to your target. So I've got a target as a ball down this end, hopefully you can see on the camera. So I'm going to stand, so the black team would go first. Oh, that one's rolled away. That was an unkind roll from that sock, okay? So now it's the green team's go. Can the green team get closer? That is the question. Oh, green team's about the same, okay? Then the black team will go again. Oh, that was a really close one, okay? Then the green team. Okay, so this one, practicing our aiming. Okay, you might need to uh, take a, have a little less power on this one, and the socks, they might roll in a bit of a strange direction, so watch out for that, okay? Hopefully you guys really enjoy the games, get your family involved, remember to stay active, keep going boys and girls, you're doing a fantastic job. Remember, if you wanna upload any videos, use the hashtag KeepElmActive. I've been really enjoying the videos that you guys have been putting on. Keep up the good work. Good job everyone, hope you enjoy it and I'm looking forward to seeing some really, really good throwing. Remember, laser.